Good morning, my dear students who are going to write the 2025 examinations. Now, one such examination is the Amrita Engineering Entrance Examination, the AEEE 2025. And this is for getting admission into the uh, Amrita campuses. And there are many campuses, not just in Coimbatore, but also in Bangalore and so many places which I'm going to show you. And the best part is there are you know, courses or branches right from aerospace, data science, apart from computer science engineering and, you know, a lot of specializations are there. I will give you a brief about it and I'm pretty sure you would have applied by now because the registrations have closed. So, I will make you understand the seriousness of this examination because this is a very good backup examination. First of all, you know, as per the uh, website of Amrita, uh, the highest package is around 57 lakhs, which is a good deal, guys. 57 lakhs is close to 5 lakh rupees a month. And the average package is around 9 lakh rupees per annum. Average package. So, on an average, every student is getting 9 lakh rupees per year. So, some students might be getting 4 lakhs. Some students will be getting 20 lakhs. Some students will be getting 15 lakh. Some will be getting 10. So, it's an average. Keep that in mind. Okay. So, that is also a good deal because that's, you know, close to a lakh rupees per month. And there is scholarship available. Also, 92% of the students are placed. Also, J rank is considered. But keep in mind, J rank seats are only limited. Most of the seats are filled via this particular examination. Okay. So, let's go quickly to the strategy point. Everybody ready? And if you have forgotten to smash the like button, please smash it right now. And if you want me to give a model paper a model paper on this just quickly smash that like button if i see more likes then i'll understand okay you are interested or else i'll say okay you're not interested so quickly smash that like button and comment below so the major major chapters which you should be thoroughly prepared for a triple e in maths it's calculus trigo probability coordinate vectors 3d and geometry i'll give you more specific topics also in physics it's laws of motion thermo electromagnetism optics and modern physics these are the major chunks through which majority of the questions will be asked okay now in uh, chemistry i'll give you the specific topics even environmental chemistry is there this is the major syllabus guys organic physical inorganic is there coordination is also there environmental is there in english articles synonyms antonyms prepositions and verbs this is the overall syllabus you can say through which you know your questions will be asked if you go specifically in mathematics, the questions are majoritarily are coordinate geometry. If you solve previous year papers only, then you will get an idea of what level of questions will come. And they are, you know, a decent chunk of questions only. It's not very, very easy. It's not very difficult also. But you need to practice and give some mock tests. Only then you will get the hang of it. I'll tell you the importance of mock tests in a while. But before that, Remember for maths, if you just read the formulas for these particular units, it is not enough. I'm telling it to you openly. Okay. You have to practice at least few PYQs and then some mock tests. For physics, obviously concepts are critical and you have been giving so many exams like VIT, SRM, you know, Comed K or, you know, even JE and BITSAT and so many other exams you are preparing already. So concepts, theory, you should be obviously thorough with. But mainly, problem solving and special attention to mechanics and electromagnetism. So, lot of questions from mechanics that is Newton's law, circular, work power energy, momentum, rotation, SHM, all these things and electrodynamics meaning electrostatics, Gauss law, gravitation, this magnetism, magnetic effects, EMI, all right, AC, all these chapters are highly critical. From chemistry point of view, for physical form, uh, chemistry, you can memorize the formulas that will be helpful. Obviously, practice a few problems and mechanisms of reaction. All the named reactions, please go through it. That's very important. And periodic properties for inorganic chemistry. Yes, all the periodic properties for inorganic chemistry, you should be very well aware of. Now, the strategy of the exam will be as follows. This is a very detailed strategy. I took some time to analyze a lot of PYQs and then I have made it. And based on the safe score. Now, let me also remind you, for you to get computer science related branches, usually you will need above 190 marks. What did I say? You will need above 190 marks. Now, this exam has a total marks of 300. Total marks are 300. 
and there are 100 questions in it. So out of 300, how much should you get? 190 at least. But I am giving you a plan for 194 marks so that in case you do something wrong also, at least you will be on the safer side. Mathematics, there are 40 questions. Physics, there are 30 questions. Chemistry, there are 25. English, there are 5 questions. But obviously, you need not have to solve all of them. Let's say you solve, uh, and by the way, there are 3 marks per question, okay? There are 3 marks for the correct answer and there is negative marking. So, don't blindly mark everything. Be careful about it. There is negative marking. Everybody? Okay. Total time is not 180 minutes. It is not like J exam. This is where majority of the J students go wrong because you are in the mindset of 3 hours irrespective of the questions. In fact, the number of questions, if you see there are 100 questions, it's more than J. Correct? So, if the number of questions are more than J, right, you cannot have that same speed plus the timing is less. So, most of the students think I can easily crack. Oh, I am a JE aspirant. No, you have to give lots of mock tests. You have to form that habit in your head. That mental clock should be clear. Yeah. Now, 194 marks, 190 marks will be up around 98, 97 percentile around that range. So, that will be a safe score. Is that okay, Somesh? I hope that is clear. Okay. Now, Swarup, I will help you with that. For PYQs, I will help you. One second. Now, 120 marks because 40 into 3, 90 marks because 30 into 3, 75 marks because 3 marks per question. So, 25 into 3, 5 questions into 3 marks is 15 marks. That's the maximum possible marks. I am telling you, don't attempt all of them. Attempt 30 questions in mathematics, okay? Attempt 20 questions in physics. You are leaving 10 questions in maths, 10 questions in physics. In fact, leave 10 questions in chemistry also. Okay, no problem. And English, you will be able to do almost everything. Let's say you are leaving one more question here or two questions here. Solve something extra over here. But if you can do better than this, it's good. I'm not saying solve this much only if I can do more. No, 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 no. I'm saying bare minimum you have to do this. Got my point? Only then you'll get a branch or else you will be on the lower branch. Understand that. 30 questions, 60 minutes. That means per question, how many minutes? Two minutes. Got it? 30 questions, 60 minutes. So per question, two minutes you will give. 40 minutes, 20 questions. Again, two minutes per question. 30, uh, 30 minutes, 15 questions, 2 minutes per question. Usually, chemistry will not take so much time. So, if you can solve this in 25 minutes, you can give more time to maths or physics, whichever is your weak point. If chemistry is your weak point, then you will have to give more time in chemistry. All right. Then, for English, it is very direct. So, you won't take 2 minutes per question. 1 minute, 1 question. That's the strategy. Now, in spite of giving 2 minutes per question, you are still left with 15 minutes in the end. So, totally 150 minutes, right? So, in 135 minutes, you will be able to cover the paper and you have 15 minutes left and I have also assumed you are doing one question wrong. Every, every subject, one question you are doing wrong. Let's say 150 minutes you have. I am allowing you 135 minutes to complete the paper with 15 minutes buffer where you can recheck. This is the bare minimum score with which you will get around 98, 97 percentile and you will easily get a very good branch. But I will advise solve more than this so that in case something goes wrong also, you are still able to achieve a better score and a safe score. Okay. So, these are the bare minimum marks that one should score. Now, there is a particular test series which has all the mock tests which I am going to give to you. Not just that, I will also give you a free PDF of PYQs. If you comment after the video, sir, we want PYQs. In this extra mile test series, I am not giving PYQs. I am giving you most expected questions based on those PYQs, which will sure shot come. And these are the high weightage topics. All those high weightage topics, which I just gave it to you, right? Right over here from these topics and the exact same syllabus and the pattern, you are going to get the engineering entrance exam test series, 10 tests for every engineering entrance examination. So, as you go into the description box of this particular video, you will see the extra mile engineering test series. This has AEEE, BITSAT, SRM, VITEEE, everything. Remember, there are phase two of VITEEE also. Don't waste money on separate test series. Buy this one test series for 1,299. All right. And you will get Amrita engineering entrance test, 10 mock tests, specially designed for you with analysis and score reporting and solutions. So, you don't have to depend on anyone. Got it? Okay. Now, keep in mind that if you go to the brochure of Amrita, 
you will realize that Amrita entrance examination cons uh, consists of 70% of the seat allotment and only 30% is allotted via J mains. So, you need to depend more on this particular entrance rather than J. Although, if you have a good score, then most likely you will get through it. Okay. Also, keep in mind that there are lots of branches and lots of campuses. Amravati, Amritpuri, Bangalore, Chennai, Kaoimbatur, Faridabad, Nagarkoil. The most famous campus being you know, the one in Coimbatore. Obviously, Bangalore and Chennai are also good. Nagar Coil is also good. Aerospace is there. Artificial intelligence, data science, computer engineering, computer specializations, electrical, electronics, communication, robotics and artificial intelligence. These branches are very popular. That's the reason why the placements are very high. Average packages are good. So, this is a very good backup option. Don't waste your parents' money in random branches, random colleges. Go to a good college, go to a decent college, go to a good branch, do PhD, MS or do MBA, whatever you want to do, do higher studies after that, get placed in a good company, my dear students. So, you know, this has good returns and uh, there is scholarship also available, which you can make the best use of. Okay, right. So, for chemistry also, I have mentioned the chapters right at the beginning. All right, cool. So, remember, I have given you the entire strategy. And also, I have told you where the extra mile test series are. This particular test series will give you 10 mock tests which are really good and they are computer based. That means you will get the exact feel of how the exact examination is going to be. Please use the solutions to see where you have gone wrong. A complete detailed scorecard will be available after every test so that you can analyze your mistakes and improve. If you give this 10 mock tests, you can be at peace of mind that, okay, I will get a good score in Amrita entrance and I don't have to waste extra money because there is scholarship and all those things. I want you to get those scholarships, guys. Okay, keep that in mind. All right, all the best, guys, very much. And if you want PYQs, comment below. Sir, we want PYQs PDF. Okay, I will share with you. Thank you so much.